for those joining me for the card reads. Thank you. I do appreciate the company. I also took a little break today and I went and got a tripod. So it's no longer morning, but I am determined to finish reading these cards today so that I can do a different pull tomorrow. Otherwise, how am I going to learn? How are you going to learn? Again, thank you. So Pluto is the card of transformation. People living deeply have no fear of death. Anais Nin. Pluto, the smallest and outermost planet in our solar system, probably carries the most weight. It is the planet of extremes. Birth, sex, and death are Pluto's themes. In Greek legend, Pluto was the god of the underworld. His earlier name, Hades, came to designate the dwelling place for the dead. The name Hades means the unseen. And it is a good description of the energies of Pluto, which tend to transform areas of the astrological chart without us knowing until the explosion or blowout. Hmm. Pluto was discovered in 1930, and although it is now considered a dwarf planet, transits from Pluto are extremely powerful and bring on significant life changes. I'm going to need to sit with these cards, I think, after, after I have absorbed the readings of them tonight. In traditional astrology, Pluto is the higher octave of Mars, but has some similarities to Saturn, which is also a force of oppression. Pluto governs renewal and rebirth. It brings to the surface things that have been hidden or are felt deeply inside. These are sometimes painful to confront or they are embarrassing or taboo. Hmm. This dwarf planet tends to inspire unwelcome surprises. Pluto can be like a tower collapsing in your life, a life from which you must rebuild from debris and also inspiration. I do hope that this is in reference to lingering like on the way out energy and not upcoming energy. Again, I'm going to need to sit with these cards afterwards. Okay. Many things that you have relied upon for always being there may suddenly disappear or leave. More than anything else, Pluto represents endings and beginnings. It is not a card of physical death per se, since in our lifetimes, we experience many deaths and new starts. This is simply a time when the decks are being wiped clean for new action. Most of the time you begin to feel ill at ease with the feeling of something not right. And things go down strangely with an eerie silence like the Titanic. Mm -hmm. If you are in a relationship that has been difficult, it will either end or it will deepen and become more fulfilling. Any romance that starts at this time should prove to be intense. It is very important not to try and control things. Instead, surrender to the ups and downs for a while, although some of these changes may be painful ones. That said, this is a time of intense sexuality. It may come in various forms, great sex, not enough sex, strange sex <laughs> and most likely intense and consuming sex. Well now, in terms of job or career, it may be time to get another. When the Pluto card represents it, or presents itself in a reading, you may have recently been infatuated with a hidden subject, certain mysteries, or the taboo. This could be a time when you are able to sense and feel spirits around you, and sometimes this card can indi indicate psychic attacks. And thus, you should be very careful with who you open up to. Be cautious if you are involved in anything paranormal or occult in nature. You are not particularly vulnerable. In fact, your strength is growing. But it is important at this point in time to spiritually protect yourself from anything negative, such as vampire types of people or lost spirits looking for a home. You may become upset, 
concerning something about your past that turns out to not be what you had always thought. On a more mundane level, you may have to be more careful with your finances, taxes, or inheritances. You might have the opportunity to suddenly move into a new home, but beware of foundation, water, or sewer problems, and, and also the possibility that the house might be haunted. And personally, I'll take the haunting. I've been through a flooding. I'll take the haunting. Think of Pluto as leftover things that tend to languish in a state of decay or decadence, but more positively, rejuvenation, healing, and birth. And by the way, that doesn't mean I want any hauntings. <laughs> Don't send any my way, please. So the corresponding tarot card is the Six of Swords, and the key ideas are transformation, endings, beginnings, new ways, the end of the old, and intensity. Hmm. Okay, let's let's move on to the next card. That was a bit too absorbed there, huh? 